Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing four methods we can use if we receive the following error when logging into Team Center. First thing we want to do is make sure that our SQL Server and Team Center Server Manager is running. So in our SQL Server and Team Center Application Server, we want to launch our services application. We want to make sure that all of our automatic SQL services are started. If not, we will manually start them. Next, let's make sure that our Team Center Server Manager is started. Now, this may be located on a different machine. Another thing we could try if that doesn't work is add the IP address and the host name of the Team Center server to our host file. So, let's navigate to the directory displayed on the screen. We open our host file with Notepad++. In the host file, we add a new line and input the IP address, hit tab, and input the host name. And we make sure to hit save when that's complete. Third thing for us to do is to delete the following folders. Before we do that, we make sure to turn off all of our Team Center services. Next, we go into our temp folder and delete the V11 folder. If we can't delete the folder, we want to look into our task manager to see if we have any Team Center services running. If we find any that are still running, we want to end the processes. and we try again to delete the folder. Next, we go to our user team center folder and delete the rack folder. And with that done, we restart all the services that we turned off. Last thing for us to do is to just restart our Team Center server machine. After all of that, we should now be able to log into Team Center.